Today we met up with friends and visited Rabi Castle, which is a medieval castle in County Durham. The castle is one of the finest and most complete castles that we have in England and it's surrounded by a large deer park and they also have the Plotter's Forest which is the playground for children. The castle was built in the 14th century by the Neville family and Cecily Neville, who was actually the mother to two English kings, resided here. The exterior towers and battlements date back to the 11th century however. The castle was also the location where the plot known as the Rising of the North began and it was also a parliamentary stronghold during the Civil War. The castle was originally surrounded by a moat which had drawbridge access. You can see Nume here shooting a dad. And the Neville family continued to live in the castle until 1569, when after the failing of the Rising of the North, the Crown took possession of the property. The sixth Earl of Westmoreland was actually the last Neville to reside here, and he died in Holland, still in exile, in 1601. In 1626, Sir Henry Vane the Elder, who was a member of Parliament and part of Charles's household back then, purchased Rabbi from the Crown, and the Vane family still own the property to this day. The 12th Lord Bernard is the current owner of the property. And these are the beautiful war gardens that they are installing. There are various trails all over the park for the children to take part in, and Nim has thoroughly enjoyed today. And it was so nice spending time with our friends as well. And this is the plotter's play area. And it's a multi-level maze with different sections that you can walk through and find your way around. Here she is following deer prints. And that was with her uncle Elliot. And the trail price is actually included in with your tickets. This is Nimue doing one of the hunts for the eggs with all of the different letters on. And we had a worksheet to complete for that. The grounds surrounding the castle are absolutely beautiful and they are dog friendly. You can walk around those areas with your pets. You just can't take pets inside the plotter's play area or the castle. And they actually have a white stag, which you can see in these images here. And it's absolutely stunning. I wish we could have got a closer shot of it, but you can see in a minute how far away they actually were. And we didn't want to encroach too close to them either in case we startled them. It's always best to teach respect to the little ones. But they were absolutely amazing to watch. And here you can see this used to be the moat around the outside of the castle. Nimue was exhausted at the end of the day. I think she walked the legs off herself. I had to take a respite at about one o'clock. I just felt really ill, but I did manage to see everything, thankfully. So me and Lapa hid for a bit in the car.